Okay, so I don't know about the rest of you, but I am like seriously missing the way things used to be. Back when we kept what went on behind our bedroom doors, behind those bedroom doors, you feel me? I'm not feeling you. You seem like the quintessential loud and ugly American who was from the South and has bad teeth. And it sounds like you were headed into bigotry and hatred. Am I right? Let's see. I mean, it would be comical if it wasn't as sad as it truly is that our press secretary feels the need to address the nation about what she does behind her bedroom door in between her sheets. Honey, I'm Southern. I don't give a damn what you do behind your door. It ain't none of my business. Just like what I'm doing behind mine. None of your business. I think I preferred it like that. Okay, so you were talking about White House Press Secretary Corinne Jean-Pierre. She is open about the fact that she's a lesbian, but she has never spoken about what she does behind her bedroom door in between her sheets. In fact, the only one who's making claims about the White House Press Secretary's sex life is you, Miss Homophobic Southern Woman. On TikTok, you go by the name of Priscilla Goss. Well, you might as well call yourself the Wicked Witch of the Self. And that still would not capture the extent of your vile and disgusting video posting. You were the poster child for homophobia. But even more, than having your awful feelings and hatred, you made this video so you could share your bigotry on social media and spread it around. The fact is the LGBTQ community does not go around humping each other. They just want to live their lives and not be verbally or physically attacked. But you, Miss Priscilla Goss, feel the need to publicly wish for the old days. You mean the days when people who were different from you were lynched? Seriously, that's the tone of your bigoted scream. You want people to live in fear and comply to the public picture of society as you want. It. A picture that is monolithic, white, straight, and does not reflect reality. Amazing. The woman spewing this bile on TikTok is a conservative. She gives that away when she continues talking about the White House press secretary and gives this job description. Your job is to inform the American people about current issues like inflation, like our borders being under attack. Um, safety, yeah, you know, these outrageous gas prices, people debating, do you buy groceries, do you pay a light bill, you know, that, that's what we care about as the American people. Economic hardships, gas prices, undocumented immigrants. The irony is that the White House Press Secretary Corinne Jean-Pierre talks about those issues literally every day. But a lot of conservatives don't like how she and the Biden administration talk about the issues or are addressing them. So the conservatives focus on gender and sexuality, and promote hatred. And given the ability of anybody to record and post a video on social media, a lot of lunatics do just that. And they reveal their annoying and abrasive insecurities. I've often wondered why so many conservatives are so bothered to see a black lesbian woman as the public spokesperson for the White House. I suppose it has to do with the threat that such progress represents. Equal rights for all is not in the DNA of some conservatives. And so we get trashy videos like this. Well, I suppose we should be grateful that these videos are published because it's a constant reminder that hatred and bigotry are still out there in the United States and that low information voters with bad dental hygiene have not gone away. They've simply migrated to social media and are trying to make themselves feel better by posting ridiculous screeds. And so it goes. By the way, some teenagers in Michigan just got an awful police officer fired. Check out that video at the link below. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.